Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. The BMA in Scotland has said that consultancy services are undergoing what they call an absolute existential crisis. And this isn't surprising. They've got the record vacancies, never had more vacancies at any level of consultancy before ever. They've got the lowest recruitment ever. And of course, hospitals themselves are being mismanaged and underfunded. And it's no surprise. If you are a consultant, why would you go and work in the NHS in Scotland where there's not enough people, so you're going to be overworked, stressed, affect your mental and physical health. And even then, if you finish and get a month's wages, you look at your pay slip and you see how much extra tax has been taken from you than if you worked in England. So it is no surprise that this is the case. And of course, it's 17 years of misrule by the SNP. Massive underfunding, recruitment problems, uh, generally having a whole slew of health secretaries who don't know what they're doing. Um, you know, I mean, the last one is sitting there looking like he might be thrown out of politics entirely for knocking one out in Morocco and then fraudulently claiming it uh, against the people, against the public purse. And the current one is no better. Massively overpromoted. He's never had a job like it. He's never had any experience like it. He doesn't know what he's doing. He's been thrown in at the deep end and he is drowning. So this is why things are so bad. But it looks like they're going to get a whole lot worse. Let's go. So NHS Scotland consultant workforce in crisis and the SNP high taxes will make it worse. And who says this? The doctors, the ones at the pointy end, the ones that have to go in every day, get overworked with so many people trying to see them with waiting lists that are years long because the NHS hasn't got the money to, you know, hire more consultants in any particular field. And then, of course, now they're getting increasingly taxed. So why shouldn't they go to England and get taxed less? You would. If you had the ability to earn more money, you'd take it. So why wouldn't they? This is what happens with um, idiots like the SNP. They are absolute buffoons. And you tell them in advance that this will happen and they ignore you. Or worse, they're doing it on purpose. If they know something's going to happen and they still do it, it's going to be a conscious decision and therefore it's a deliberate decision. The Scottish government making Scotland the highest uh, the Scottish government sorry are making Scotland the highest tax part of the UK. It's exacerbating the recruitment crisis affecting hospitals across the country, claimed Doctors Union BMA Scotland. But I don't think you need the BMA to tell you that. You can see it yourself and it makes plain common sense. If you're underfunding hospitals and overtaxing doctors, what on earth do you think is going to be the outcome? Chaos, destruction, the end of the SNP. Sorry, the end of the NHS. I wish it was the end of the SNP. But even their idiot supporters are still going to vote for them, even when their families are dying because they can't get in to see a doctor. Yeah, Granny died, but hey, I'll still vote for the SNP because Granny would have wanted that as she's laying there gasping her last breath on a corridor because there's no room at the inn. Unbelievable, these people. It really is. Uh, doctors have claimed that the consultant workforce in Scotland's NHS is beyond crisis point and will only worsen due to the SNP's high taxes, making the country substantially less attractive to live in. BMA Scotland warned that the situation could turn increasingly grim due to new pay offer being put, put forward in England. How grim does it have to be? It's pretty damn grim now, isn't it, surely? Uh, the latest quarterly figures for the NHS Medical and Dentistry Consultancy revealed that there were 436 vacancies across the country in the quarter ending 2023 and 6,006 whole-time equivalent consultants working. But the union, the doctor's union, has disputed this figure. So that's the government figures, but we know that they lie. They outright lie and spin, so can't believe a word of it. Uh, they claim, this is the doctors, claim that the statistics seriously underestimate the real level of vacancies by not counting things like posts temporarily filled by locums or vacant for so long that they're no longer being advertised. So there's been a post that's been vacant so long they've stopped counting it. 
That's unbelievable, isn't it? It says, our previous figures have consistently shown that the actual number of vacancies are around double those counted in official statistics. And we're currently collecting this data again. So there you go. The, the, the Scottish government lying. Imagine that. Imagine that they were actually lying and telling you that the, uh, the, 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 the vacancies were only 600, when in fact uh, it's over a thousand. And nobody wants to go there. Yeah, sure, you're a consultant in, in England. Let's say, you know, just across the border, you could be in Carlisle. So you're in a Carlisle uh, hospital and you say, well, I might just go up there and work up in Scotland for a while. Oh, no, I don't want to lose thousands upon thousands of pounds in tax. So I don't think I will. Also, this is a busy hospital and we have lots of doctors, so I only have to see about, you know, a dozen patients a day or so. Go up there and you've got hundreds to see a day and you can only give them five minutes each it's ridiculous isn't it one of the huge issues affecting recruitment according to dr alan robertson chair of the bma scotland's consultant committee is the huge tax discrepancy between jobs and the uh, and jobs north of the border jobs in england sorry and north of the border the smp have ensured the country is the highest tax part of the uk and we knew straight away the moment she said it we've done videos on this said people will leave and the people who leave are going to be the high tax earners, uh, sorry, the high tax um, payers, because they're the ones, they're the high earners, which means they are the ones with the skills. And they're the skills that they can sell anywhere. And there's nothing keeping them in Scotland. It's not as though, you know, you're a crofter. You're not a humble crofter. You can't take the land with you. If you're a consultant, you can take that anywhere. Every hospital will be glad to get you. Uh, consultants in Scotland earned between 96,963 for the first year to a maximum of 128,841 for 20 plus years in the job. Nice pay if you can get it. But of course, you're not paying for the job. You're paying for the many, many years of constant learning. It's not easy being a consultant. Uh, but there are plenty of pay brackets targeted by the nationalist Scot uh, Scottish government to pay more to the state in order to fund a bloated benefit system, plus the likes of freebies such as tuition and bus travel for under 22s. Strange they can give under 22 bus passes, but not the over 60s. Um, an employee in Scotland earning 110,000 will take home less than someone in England who earns 100,000, with the money mainly going in the pockets of the state. The new tax ban is being introduced, hammering those between 60, uh, between 75 and 125,000 and further increasing the divide between the two countries. And, of course, consultants, slap bang in the middle of that, aren't they? Why would you go to Scotland and get hammered? Thousands upon thousands of pounds all across the board. They'll leave. And, of course, what will happen then is that Shona's bright idea and, all oh, we're going to get all this extra money turns in that not only are they not getting the extra uplift that she thought, she's not getting the base that was already there. That's gone as well. She'll be much, much worse off we've covered this the laffer curve but thicky shona with her 86 iq doesn't see it and now her policies are going to absolutely harm people's health vote smp if you want to die um today he said this is uh mr roberts again she said today a new offer for english consultants has also been announced it will of course be up to them to consider whether to accept but when you add in the new top rates of tax introduced in scotland the competitive disadvantage of our consultants' face is becoming increasingly clear. You will earn base far more in England than you do in Scotland. And after tax, wow, that's someone else's salary. That's the differential. The difference is immense. He says, we cannot possibly hope to make any difference in reducing the number of gaps in our workforce if it continues to become substantially less attractive to work in Scotland than other places. And of course, the other problem they have is they haven't got a border they can clo close. It's not North Korea. So, you know, people are like, right, that's it, I'm off, boom. I'm gonna go down south. I'm gonna earn 6,000 pounds a year more than I am here. And I'm gonna pay substantially less in tax. What's keeping you? Why aren't you moving? You sell your house and you go and people will. All of it, everyone. They'll all leave eventually. Of course, you will get some who aren't the best doctors and can't get a job. OK, so you go, hey, look, we've got, we've got lots of consultants, but they won't be very good ones. The good ones have gone. You're, you're left up with the few that you have will all be second rate. 
And this is continuing. And it's time and time and time again. And you can't tell these people. And you can't tell him. He doesn't know. You can tell him. I mean, you can tell him to your blue in the face. But he won't get it. Another one. Completely out of his depth. Coming up. When the death rate starts spiking because of a lack of consultants, who's going to be to blame? Who will the SNP blame? Well, they'll blame Westminster. Look at you cutting your taxes. Look at you paying your doctors. Look at you retaining people by not overworking them. It'll be Westminster's fault. It won't be their fault. It won't be their 17 years of massive underfunding. It won't be them punishing people for daring to get on, get educated, earn more. Oh no, it won't be their fault. It won't be their fault when they keep putting in a whole series of health ministers who haven't got the first clue what they're doing. It won't be their fault, will it? It's just going to crash and burn. The whole of the NHS in Scotland is going to die on its feet. Anyway, I'll stop there. Thank you very much for watching. Do please hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, leave a like, leave a comment, please share the video, and I'll speak to you later. Bye.